We shall now discuss situation monitoring, which is an important component in the Team Steps tools for patient safety. Situation monitoring is a process that fosters awareness of the team as to what is happening around them. This awareness will enable individuals or the medical team to adapt to changes in the situation. Further, this awareness will also create opportunities to support other team members when necessary. Situation monitoring is moderated by communication, which allows for the sharing of new and emerging information with other team members to develop and maintain a shared mental model. It is therefore the objective of this module to discuss situation monitoring, how it affects team processes and outcomes, list components of the step mnemonic, explain situation awareness and identify undermining conditions, and lastly, to define a shared mental model and how it is cultivated within a team. Situation monitoring is part of this model. Because situation monitoring concerns the willingness and ability to continuously monitor situations and share this awareness with fellow team members, it is enhanced by team leadership, given that team leaders encourage and role model supportive behaviors. Leadership, which facilitates teamwork through leaders' effective communication with their team members to ensure that a plan is conveyed, reviewed, and updated. Continuous monitoring of the situation to better anticipate team members' needs and effectively manage resources, and fostering for an environment of mutual support through role modeling and reinforcement. Situation monitoring also allows for mutual support through the ability to anticipate other team members' needs with accurate knowledge of their responsibility. Situation monitoring is a continuous process because of the dynamic situations in which teams function. This process consists of three components. Situation monitoring is the process of actively scanning and assessing elements of the situation to gather information or maintain an accurate understanding of the situation in which the team functions. Situation monitoring is a skill which implies that it can be taught, developed, and improved. It enables team members to identify potential issues or minor deviations early enough to correct and handle them before they become a problem or pose harm to the patient. Situation awareness is the state of knowing the conditions that affect one's work. It is a detailed picture of the situation. Note that situation awareness is not a static thing or concept because the situation and context in which the situation exists are dynamic and ever-changing, team members must continuously assess relevant components of the situation and update their individual situational awareness. Shared mental models, a team outcome, are the result of each member maintaining his or her situation awareness and sharing relevant facts with the entire team. Doing so ensures that everyone on the team is on the same page. In a busy healthcare environment, knowing which elements you need to monitor and being able to keep track of each element can feel overwhelming. Yet, knowing the relevant components of the situation that provides clues about impending complications or contingencies is critical for patient safety. STEP is a mnemonic tool that can help monitor critical elements of the situation and the overall environment. The mnemonic stands for S, 
status of the patient, T, team members, E, environment, P, progress toward the goal. In a healthcare setting, the most obvious element of the situation requiring constant monitoring is the patient status. Even minor changes in the patient's vital signs may require dramatic changes in the team's actions and urgency of its response. When assessing patient status, consider the following. Patient history, vital signs, medications, physical exam, plan of care, and psychosocial condition. You should also be aware of the team member status. This include fatigue level, workload, task performance, skill level, and stress level. Healthcare I'm safe is a simple checklist that can be used to determine the ability to perform safely. I'm safe stands for I, illness, M, medication, S, stress, A, alcohol and drugs, F, fatigue, E, eating and elimination. Illness. Am I feeling so bad that I cannot perform my duties? Medication. Is the medication I'm taking affecting my ability to perform my duties? Stress. Is there something, a life event, or a situation at work that distracts my ability to focus and perform my duties? Alcohol or drugs? Is my use of alcohol or illicit drugs affecting me that I can't focus on the performance of my duties? Fatigue. Am I tired? The effects of fatigue should not be ignored. Team members should alert the team regarding their state of fatigue. For example, watch me a little closer today. I only had three hours of sleep last night. Eating and elimination. Has it been six hours since I have eaten or used the restroom? Many times we are focused on ensuring our patients' basic needs that we forget to take care of our own. Not taking care of our elimination needs affect our ability to concentrate and stresses us physiologically. The environment directly affects quality of care delivered. Is the needed equipment present? Are there enough staff? to tend to all the patients. The environment can change quickly and dramatically and teams must be able to adapt to the dynamic nature of the situation. When assessing the environment, consider the following. Facility information, administrative information, human resources, triage equity, and equipment status. By monitoring progress toward the, the team's established goals, 
Team members will be able to alert the team when strategies or the plan of care may need to be reconsidered or revised or when additional resources are needed. When assessing progress, team members need to consider the following. Status of the team's patients, goal of the team, tasks or actions completed or that need to be completed, and continued appropriateness of the plan. Goals were established and agreed on at the team briefing. If something has changed, a huddle should be called to discuss how the plans need to be modified. Let's have an exercise. First scenario, a Gravida 1 para 0 at 24 weeks age of pregnancy previously diagnosed with RHD was admitted due to productive cough and fever. At the emergency room, her vital signs were stable, blood pressure 110 over 70, cardiac rate 97 per minute, respiratory rate 24 per minute, temperature 38.5 degrees centigrade. Chest X-ray with abdominal shield revealed pneumonia. Antibiotic therapy was started. IVF was given at 120 cc per hour. Based on the given scenario, provide or choose the component that best describes the situation provided. Status of the patient, status of other team members, status of the environment, status of the progress toward the goal. At the ward, the nurse noticed that the respiratory rate of the patient has increased at 40 per minute in contrast to the rate observed two hours ago at the emergency room. In addition, the patient was unable to lie flat on bed. Which component of situation monitoring is this? The nurse looked for the resident in charge. However, she found out that the resident has scrubbed in an emergency cesarean section. Which component of situation monitoring is this? The nurse then referred the patient to the chief resident. The chief resident read the chart and saw that the patient has history of RHD. She checked the IVF, wherein a total of 300 cc was infused in two hours and checked if a referral to the cardiology service was done. Which component of situation monitoring is this? Once the resident in charge has scrubbed out, the chief resident endorsed to the resident in charge the current orders as well as the parameters that has to be monitored for the pregnant patient. Which component of situation monitoring is this? Situation awareness is the state of knowing the conditions that affect one's work. This awareness is achieved by constantly monitoring the ever-changing situation. Situation awareness is the extent to which team members are aware of the following. Status of the patient, status of other team members, status of the environment, and status of the progress toward the goal. The healthcare environment is dynamic, requiring team members to continuously reassess situations to update their situation awareness. What results is a sense of knowing what's going on around them and the ability to support each other when needed. Loss of situation awareness results in ambiguity, confusion, and decreased communication. There are numerous barriers to maintain situation awareness. They are the result of team members' failure to share information with the team, request information from others, direct information to specific team members, include the patient or family 
in communication, utilize resources fully, maintain documentation that is adequate, complete, and timely, know and understand where to focus attention, know and understand the plan, and inform team members the plan has changed. These are examples where failure can occur in the step process. Identify the component of situation monitoring process where failure can occur if there was failure to ask the patient a history of other illnesses, such as history of allergy. Identify the component of situation monitoring process where failure can occur because of failure to assist a team member who has greater workload. Identify the component of situation monitoring process where failure can occur because of inability to find where the necessary equipment for emergency cases are kept. Identify the component of situation monitoring process where failure can occur because of inability to call a huddle or endorse to the team members changes or additional plans for the patients. A mental model is a mental picture or sketch of the relevant facts and relationships defining an event, situation, or problem. When all the members of a team share the same mental model, this is referred to as a shared mental model. Sharing your situation awareness with fellow team members result in a shared mental model or everyone being on the same page. This is a continuous process requiring relevant input from all team members. Sharing information with other team members is necessary to establish and maintain a shared mental model. When each member shares his or her unique information, the team will have a more accurate assessment of the situation. There are both ad hoc and structured opportunities to share vital information with team members. Some examples of when information can be shared include team events such as briefs, huddles, and debriefs. It is important to establish the expectation that these team events will occur and that all team members are empowered to speak up. Some examples of how to share information include S-bar, call-outs, and checkbacks. Teams should communicate often and at the right time to ensure that everyone is on the same page and has a comprehensive view of the situation. These are how mental models can help teams, leading to a mutual understanding of problems goals, team strategies, patient's condition, and plan of care, leading to more effective communication to ensure that team members have the same information for task performance, enabling team members to back up and fill in for each other, helping team members understand each other's role and how they interplay, improving the ability of the individual team members to provide mutual support by predicting and anticipating the needs of the team, creating commonality of effort and purpose. Most important, shared mental team models help teams avoid errors that put patients at risk. Now return to your team steps implementation worksheet. Think about whether any aspect of your teamwork issue is related to situation monitoring and answer the questions for this module. Think about whether the team or individuals targeted for your team steps implementation have an issue related to their ability to monitor the situation if so, which of the situation monitoring tools or strategies might you use to address the issue? Situation monitoring is an integral piece of the team steps framework and directly links to communication, leadership, 
and mutual support. Engaging in effective communication techniques will enable team members to relay relevant and timely information. Leadership's role in continuously monitoring and updating the team when changes to the plan are necessary helps to maintain a shared mental model. Likewise, when team members are aware of the situation, they are better able to support each other either when asked or when they see a need. The tools and strategies introduced in this module include STEP and the I am safe checklist. Use of these tools will aid in awareness of the situation and development of a shared mental model which will enable team members to anticipate, prevent, and correct potential errors in care. The next two slides show practical exercises that you can work on as a team.